Clone High, an adult animated sitcom made for MTV by some of the guys who made Scrub. Basically, way, way back in the 1980s, secret government employees clone famous guys and ladies. The government wants to make them into clone troopers. Their educator went mad with power and wants to use them for their own purposes. And the clones just want to make it through high school. Our main set of clones are Abraham Lincoln, the tall, awkward, nerdy guy who's got a crush on the popular chick, Cleopatra. But she's on again, off again with Jonathan Fitzgerald Kennedy. Abe has two best friends, the class clown that kills the show, Gandhi, and Joan of Arc, the hot goth chick, who totally has a crush on Abe, but he's totally oblivious. The clones deal with typical high school stuff like class president, prom, the big game, and they end up subverting some stuff like having Abe actually get with the popular chick. She's clearly really bad for him, but he's happy, and Joan sees this, so actually helps him get with her. The show's a parody of 2000s high school dramas like The Grassy, and being very 2000s, some jokes might fly over some people's heads, like Tom Green. And as for all the history stuff, a lot of it is pretty basic knowledge. MTV was even told to dumb it down, and the main cast are very recognizable world history figures, so unless you just are completely incompetent with history, you should understand stuff like, If I only knew what fears and insecurities were holding me back. (laughs) <laughs> Nothing bad ever happens to the Kennedys! Wow! Some references are more deep cut than others, but you don't really need to be a story to understand a lot of the jokes. And yes, the clones in fact are aware that they are clones of historical dudes, and they are aware they'll never live up to their historical figures, which plays into the high school theme because for most people, high school is when they start developing who they are, and feel the pressure of fitting in the most. The animation style is very 2000s, with thick outlines, geometric shapes, and basic backgrounds. Inspired by UPA art from the 50s, which was all the rage in the 2000s due to stuff like Dexter's Lab and Powerpuff Girls. And yes, this show directly inspired the art style of Total Drama. No, the people who work on this did not make Total Drama. These are the guys who made Into the Spider-Verse, which is a movie that literally 9 out of 10 people love. Due to the show being on MTV, there's a lot of music. Notable special guest stars include Marilyn Manson, of all people, singing us a Food Pyramid song, and Jack Black in probably the best drug PSA I've ever seen, Raising the Stakes, which is a parody of that one Powerpuff Girls episode. It's a rock opera about a bunch of the clones discovering substances that make them really spiritual and chillaxed, but it also makes them rebellious against the system, and the elder generation does not like this. And due to misinformation and paranoia, the elder generation attempts to crack down on the substances, which only fuels the vision and eventual violence. I'm getting higher! 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 The only one who ends up benefiting from all this ends up being sketchy dealers. But then when the elder generation does use the substances, and sees it's not all that bad, this ends up continuing the cycle in another way. Now that authority figures are doing it, it doesn't seem so rebellious. Let's smoke crack instead! There's a lot of real songs used in the show, which all sound very appropriate for the era and tone of the show, but because they are real songs, there are some versions of the show that remove them, which is kind of lame. But the real lame thing is this show was cancelled, and it was because of Gandhi. The country of India did not understand the show and didn't particularly like the fact that they made Gandhi a goofy little weirdo, and forced MTV to pull the show. Honestly, I don't really see how Gandhi in the show is offensive, especially given that it's meant to be the theme of the show is they're trying to be their own persons, separate from their historical ancestors. I really don't see anything else offensive in the show. They end up handling stuff like a Mexican Jesus and a gay couple in 2002 very well. But eventually MTV gave in and the show was canceled, much like a lot of other 2000s adult animation. And the show was left on a plot twist cliffhanger. But apparently, after 20 years, we actually are getting a season 2. Which I have high hopes for. But as for the show itself, as it currently stands with season 1, I love the art style, the music's great, it's really funny and honestly really clever. You can currently watch season 1 on YouTube. 
The first three episodes aren't as good as the rest of the show, but sometimes that happens in shows. Overall, I'll give this show an 8.5. Definitely worth your time.